Welcome, we just installed Arch Linux D and then we installed i3 on it. So it's phase one installation of Arch Linux D, phase two installation of i3, which is this bunch of scripts here, from here till here. And phase three is then, hey, maybe you want to let, take a look at the personal folder. Maybe one of those scripts is also good for you. So open the terminal here and you just open them up and see what's in there and if you like it. So it's going to install personal folders, uh, .fonts, .themes and all that. Things that we, well, from time to time we are going to need it. And the 200 is the personal bookmarks version 1. Um, that's my personal bookmark of course, but I included it so you can make your own bookmarks and save them for later and then upon a, a vanilla installation later on they say those are the bookmarks I always want and then just run your own script with your own bookmarks and then you have it. So, so there are some of the some of the scripts are quite important and um, scripts folders are important that's this one. ETC is an important one and somebody uh, told me once nothing inside there so press ctrl H it's all hidden these are the configuration files of Arco Linux. This is the heart of our theming. Anything we change will be changed in here. And when you install your ISO, everything that's in here is going to go to your home directory. So updates coming in. So when you type actually the word updates and you see something in there for Arco Linux. And okay, we have something to update, done then you maybe see the words it's going to be installed to etc scale that means you need to do something it means you need to control a this thing control c it put it here and copy paste it over so replace all and done of course if you change stuff in here in these files don't do a bunch of copy then just don't do everything but think about what you changed and make sure you back up your stuff so, um, ETC scale, quite important. And the TMP is where everything happens, where everything is going to be built and built and uh, uh, compressed and all that. So if things go wrong, we often have to take a look at what's, what's happening here and maybe uh, fix it there. So that's um, that script. Let's go all the way back. Here it is. So we were talking about those things the firefox yeah the firefox we need to navigate to uh, second screen maybe so super three four and five which is my three four and five which because it's well these other um, characters you see and i'm pressing and this name down here changes so number six changes number four number five so it's another screen it's another workspace you go, can go to just want to press ctrl alt firefox f for firefox and then we boot up it's very simple everything is keyboard driven that's i3 lots of tutorials out there of i3 any tutorial really can help you so um it's launched and that's all we need to do we can quit it now and the only thing why we need to launch it is because it makes a folder and the script is going to install a small css file in it what makes our text readable again some of the input fields you have on youtube and other websites they have a white background and the and the font is light gray so you can't really see what you're typing and this is the fix for it and then you have the 400 the zsh software that's a change of shell so we have as bash we have bash as shell and you can change the bash to zsh with uh, running this um, software but we're not going to do that there are other tutorials who explain that and show what that is so this is your personal folder um, you check out if you like those scripts and want to use those scripts the aords is the distro specific so these things uh, have been installed there's indeed there's the pywall stuff uh, what was it again? Is it this shortcut combination? Yes, it is. So Alt Super, no, no. Alt Shift U is update your screen. As you can see, everything was here 
changed in color. And when I do Alt, Shift and an N for the next wallpaper, please. Let's see if he's going to do that. So if a variety is not providing the next wallpaper, let's see like this. It sometimes happens. The only thing you need to do is quit. And then wait for 20 seconds because it does not like to quit. And then restart variety and you'll see it's, it's going to be fixed. There's another uh, thing you can do is install variety git. There is a git version as well. Super shift D variety and variety is back down here and we're going to try it now. So Alt Shift and N for the next wallpaper. Oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong screen here. <laughs> Virtual box. Huh? So variety is not kicking in. Okay, fine. All right, oh, it is kicking in. My mistake. Alt Shift U. Let's take another one because this is all dark. That's better. So now you see changing. You see the colors change. It does take a while. It needs to figure out what colors. This is a black color. It's not nice. That's better. So things like that, then they get a proper coloring from Pywall. So this is installed, fine, great. And what else you need to know? Well, that uh, there are more packages than we installed. There is uh, G Radio. I don't think it's that's installed. So is it? So it depends what we include in our scripts on um, Article Linux D. I'm sure, for instance, for instance, WPS is not installed, VM Workstation is not installed, Snapshot is not installed, Visual Studio Code is not installed. So there is more in this folder than you use. And for the guys that are already, let's go to another page and then go to Arcolinux D. The guys that are already in here, in phase five, you have the Archway installation. So forget about Arch Linux, go to Arch Linux, learn about that, but then you need to have a key if you want to add our stuff. And we call it the spices of Arch Linux. If you type it in um, the YouTube channel, spices Arch Linux, you'll see all the Arch based systems that I've pimped and added our wallpapers, added our themes and, and, and so on and so on and so on. So then you have a mix uh, starting with Arch Linux and getting stuff from Arch Linux. All right, this concludes our phase three video. Enjoy Arch Linux.